Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Reason and I ready to blow your minds with something extra cheesy. Um, I always love it when Teresa's here because she brings something that is just so Graham and hopefully <laughs> this will inspire you at home. Um, I hope you're ready basically because we're about to make something truly simple but a little bit naughty. We are talking about Clover's cheese stuffed onion rings and they are decking. They're almost like onion cups of deliciousness and <laughs> Teresa is going to show us how. Yes. Um, do you know why I love your approach is because you keep it, I don't want to say you dumb it down, <clears throat> but you make it simplistic enough that I can kind of tackle this quite <laughs> easily at home and then look like an absolute hero yes. to my little boy and to my Aww. gorgeous girl because I'm making the most amazing delicious things. Yes, when doesn't it comes have to, to be complicated. Mm, and flavor profiles, cheese mm. wins. Three yep. cheeses really wins. <laughs> but the onion and cheese combo is great and yes. we've gone for like this umami infusion as well. It really Managed is. Managed to use umami. It's so, <laughs> um, well done there. <laughs> so, so what exactly are we making? I think I undersold it by just calling it like an onion and cheese cup. I yes, so it's mm. a stuffed onion which we're going to bake in the oven so the cheese is going to melt and you can have it on its own with some toast. Really, really simple um, but there's going to be a lot of flavour as you said. Oh man, so let's hop right let's to it. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with some beef sausage. Okay. So this has been pre-cooked. All right. We've got some mushrooms that we've cooked. So this is quite cool if you've got kind of a few errant kind of leftover ingredients Absolutely. sitting about. If you've got leftover veg in the fridge, it's a great great way to use it. So now this is the onion that we've taken out of the, the center oh, of these nothing onions. nothing gets left behind. That's right, and we fried that off. And then we're going to add a bit of salt and pepper. And you've really caramelized those yes, onions as well. Yes, you can see well. they're so beautiful the, and golden. flavor value. Yes, mm. yes. Right, so then we're going to add some cream and eggs for that creamy factor. Nice big dollop. No, no. Yum. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got our clover cheeses. So we're going to be using tassels, gouda, and mature cheddar. And of course, you can see on the packaging, they've got the strength indicators mm. there, so you know. This is like my whole family, is, it's no joke, it's like my whole family represented. My little one <laughs> loves his, his, his tasses, my girl the loves her, her gouda, and I'm like all about that full, like f level five, level five <laughs> yes. strength. I mm. like the mature stuff. Right, so give that a good mix. And then on the tray, we've got some onions. So we've taken the middle out, as I said earlier. So you've just got the outer layer there. And you can use white onions or red. Red is great because it gives you that slightly sweeter mm. flavor profile. And, and they are kind of all the rage, but don't forget yeah. about the humble white onion. And, no, no. Um, what, what I'm loving about the, the cheese is, you know, the fact that, you've, as you've mentioned, you've got this incredible variety, but they've made it kind of really simple to identify from yes. a flavor profile, a strength, if you will, of the, the aging process of how strong the flavor is going to be from cheddar to gouda tusses, white cheddar even, and of yeah. course your, your mature cheddars, which I love. Even cheese blocks um, to make it even easier for little school lunches and things. Um, and of course, a great range of feta as well. Yes, mm. yes, all very popular in my house, I can say. <laughs> yeah, and I, so, I don't know what life without cheese would be like. Yeah, to yeah. Be honest, I think it would. So okay. another option here, if you don't want to use beef sausages, you can use chicken. Mm. And that would also taste amazing with the mushrooms and the cheese. I think it's just really nice to have it. You know, you want to have a, pro a protein, you want to have a vegetable component. You, you know you're getting your, your vitamins and your calcium from the, the dairy as well, but you're also yeah. getting the decadence of having your cream on nays, that beautiful yeah. creamy flavor profile. Um, Oh, this is They're amazing. nice and full. Yeah. <laughs> if you have leftovers, you can have it, the oh, mixture on a bit of toast in a, a jaffle or a mm. toasted sandwich. I mean, it's, it's really is amazing. Delicious. So the key word, yeah, if you'd like to create these incredible cheesy onions with us, is clover to double three seven to eight. Just SMS that, and we will oh, send you all of the details. So how long? Oh, you rounding off with the feta? We're going to keep going nice. with the cheese. Yeah. Um, you know, if it's got four <laughs> or five cheeses in it, it's a win. So um, how long do these uh, puppies have to go into the oven so for? Pop them in at 180 degrees until the cheese is melted and golden. All right. And then well, the onion will be stuffed. Um, you can just imagine the smells uh, permeating through your house as we take you through a blow by blow. This is how we went from this to this. <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. If you've got a few onions lying around, then we've got a recipe just for you. Clover Cheese Stuffed Onions, the perfect weeknight dinner or snack. Top and tail two onions and halve them. Remove the inner layers, then give them a rough chop. Add the chopped onions to a hot, greased pan and saute them for a few minutes. 
Next, add a cup of mushrooms and cook until soft and fragrant. Once the mushrooms are cooked, roughly slice 300 grams of beef sausages and add them to the pan. Fry until cooked through, stirring as it cooks. Place the outer layers of onion onto an oven tray lined with baking paper. Add a quarter cup of clover cream mayonnaise to the sausage and mushrooms. 100 grams of clover tusses, 100 grams of clover mature cheddar cheese, and 100 grams of clover feta and stir to combine. Stuff each onion with the cheesy beef sausages and top with some more clover cheese. Then bake them at 180 degrees Celsius until the cheese has melted. Life might be too short to stuff a mushroom, but there's definitely enough time to stuff some onions. Enjoy them with slices of warm, buttery toast. Made with love by Clover. Oh, that keyword again is Clover to double three seven two eight. Just look at that. Um, yeah. We need an official taste tester. I think so. Um, he is working on his beach body because he's going to Curaçao. Can Vazi come in here so we can destroy that beach body? Come in here, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> Teresa, Vazi, Vazi, Teresa. Hi. Good. Um, good, thank you. Dude, how are you, bro? How's it going, man? Good. How are you? No, I'm good, man. Yeah. Um, so you're looking nice and lean and mean. Are you? Are you? For now. Get, are you getting close <laughs> to that? Yeah, I know. Um, are you getting close to that? That beach body readiness? Are you up for uh, the, the physical challenges of the island, dude? Uh, I'm getting ready. I'm not, I'm not quite there yet, but uh, slowly but surely getting there. So we're going to set you yeah. back for as much as I possibly can oh. by giving you one of these absolutely <laughs> delicious... Now, these, this is going to give you protein. You and I are going to be planking, I think, a little bit later, later in the show. So please yeah. grab one of these guys. Right, so um, okay, so just... Yeah. Uh, you could bite it, but I would recommend just shoving the whole thing in your mouth if you can. But it's... Um, Cheesy goodness. There's four different cheeses in there, dude. There's a little bit of onion, some beef oh. sausage, mm. some mushroom, okay. and it is <laughs> incredible. So while you, I'm going to watch you put that whole thing in your mouth. We're going to go to the news headlines. Right, Three, two, one, go, go. And Ooh. wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Mm. <laughs> it's a good one.